Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I am back at it again with another big old book haul. I have a bunch of very fun and very exciting romances to share. I know I say that every month, but I do mean it every month. I have arcs of books that I am very excited to get to, some more special editions. I do have a sneak peek in this box behind me of a special edition giveaway set that I am giving away on my Instagram on Valentine's Day. So I'll be sharing that with you and I do have a bunch of bookish clothes that I added to my closet. So let's get into this book haul. This is basically everything that I got in January and what I got so far in 2023. So I like to start off with the arcs that I get for my book haul videos. So these are what I got. First off is this arc of Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This is Abby Jimenez's new 2023 romance. She has one every year. On the back it says, One Letter Will Change Her Life, a novel of terrible first impressions, hilarious second chances, and the joy of finding your perfect match. This one is going to be a doctor romance. Both the main characters are doctors and they have recently started working together because he just got hired to where she works. They have a terrible first impression as the blurb says, but they then start writing each other some letters. So I guess it's kind of an epistolary romance but not really. So they write each other letters, they have a cute little lunch dates together. It just sounds really adorable and I'm sure like every other Abby Humanis book it's gonna be an emotional read. It's got a dog in the story because Abby literally always puts a dog in her romances which I don't complain about. Oh and apparently this hero also gives the heroine's brother his kidney so definitely does seem like it's gonna get intense. I'm excited to get to this one though. I have enjoyed almost every Abby Humanis book that I've read so far. The only one that I was iffy on was the last one, the 2022 release, which was just okay but everything else I've really enjoyed so hopefully I love this one too. And then I got this book which I did scream over when I got in the mail. This is the arc of Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. It's another chunky pretty book like Things We Never Got Over which is book one and this is book two in the Knock Em Out series. The second book is Nash's book. Nash was the brother of the hero from book one and he is the small town sheriff and he ends up falling for his new neighbor. I am very much dying to get to this one. I do have a couple books before I'm able to get to this but it's high up on my TBR and I do need to read it soon because I am gonna do a Q&A with Lucy Score on Instagram so if you love Lucy Score make sure to add it to your calendar. The Q&A is on February 26th at 2 p.m. PST. I'll post all the details on my Instagram soon but yes I am very excited to get to this one because of how much I loved book one. And the book also came with this cute little knock em out hat. It says honky tonk knock em out Virginia. I think it's cute. It's got a velcro strap on the back so it is adjustable ish but I just love that it says the series title the small town where the series is set. My next arc is this baby novella arc of The Scepter by Jay Bree. This is another arc that I was so freaking happy to get in the mail because of how I fell in love with Jay Bree last year with her Bon Sat Thai series. This one is the start of a new series. This is going to be a fantasy romance series. It's not reverse harem though. This is just going to be MF and this is the first of five upcoming novellas in this series. So The Scepter is the first novella. We're getting another novella before the release of the first full-length book in March as well. So this is the heroine here, the hero here, and then I'm assuming this one is a bad guy. I have no idea. You can actually read the novellas for free through J. Bree's newsletter. So if you're signed up for her newsletter, you should have already gotten The Scepter, like a download link to it. Otherwise you can just get them on Amazon in like a week or two. And then this is an arc of The Comeback by Lily Chu. I don't know if this is a sequel or a spin-off of 
the stand-in, which I really enjoyed. But this is gonna be another sort of celebrity romance like the stand-in was. This time we have a lawyer heroine who is trying to make partner at her company and the hero here is a famous k-pop star. He randomly shows up in her apartment one day. He's actually her roommate's cousin and he's there in Canada to mend his broken heart. So we have the temporary roommates trope. He is a famous k-pop star. It sounds like so much fun and also how gorgeous is this cover. I love this cover artist. And then the final arc that I got is this arc of Twisted by Emily McIntyre. This one has already released. I do have the audiobook waiting on my Libby app. Thankfully I didn't have to wait too long for that hold, but this is an Aladdin romance, a dark Aladdin inspired retelling. The heroine is of course inspired by Jasmine, but the hero, all the heroes in the series are the bad guys in the Disney story. So this is a hero who is inspired by Jafar. The hero is the heroine's father's right-hand man and I do believe that there is a marriage of convenience here. It sounds like it's gonna be a marriage of convenience. I can't wait to get to this one. I've really been enjoying the series so far. My favorite is Wretched which is the Wizard of Oz retelling. So maybe this one will be a new favorite. I also got a, a bunch of bookish clothes from Hello Lovely Box. I am a rep for them and I'm currently wearing like a new favorite sweater. I don't know if you can see the design all that well, but it's this shiny silvery design. It says Death by TBR. It's actually the same design on this black t-shirt because I wanted it on more than one thing. So this is the design and the bottom of it says so many books, so little time. I also got a tie-dye shirt with the same sort of silvery design on it. It just says book lover on it so obviously I had to get it and it's got a book design in the middle here. And then I accidentally got two of the same design just in different colors. I had them both in my cart and I was deciding, like debating what color I should get but accidentally just ordered both of them. It's this cute little t-shirt with this adorable design. It's skeletons in love. So I have that one in gray and I also got it in black. I honestly don't know which one I prefer. I might prefer the gray one just because I already have so many black clothes, black t-shirts, so something different with a gray. I'm probably just gonna give my extra one to like a friend or my family, whoever wants it. And then moving on to some finished copies that publishers sent my way. I got a bunch from Berkeley because I think they sent both the December books and the January books in January, or maybe it's the January and February books. But either way, I have this giant stack from them. This beautiful book is the latest special edition of the Ice Fan of Barbarian series. I believe we're on book five. This is Barbarian's Prize. I don't know if they're actually going to do the entire series. It seems like they might. It's a long series though, but I wouldn't mind having these pretty covers for all of them because honestly the reason why I never got the original covers was because I wasn't a huge fan of those covers. And this one I have read. I actually don't remember anything about it though. It's been a long time since the last time I picked up an Ice Planet Barbarians book, but this is Tiffany's book. And then this one is a queer witchy rom-com from Lana Harper. It's back in a spell. We have a witchy heroine and a non-binary human, or at least they think they're human. They're actually a newbie witch, so this is where the heroine comes in to open up their whole world. These are two new historical romances from Berkeley, and of course they have the cutesy illustrated covers. So this one is a Love by Design by Elizabeth Everett. I haven't read either of them, but I do have a couple of their books. We have a second chance romance here. The heroine is widowed. She's also a scientist. She wants to be the first to establish this woman-owned engineering firm. And then the other historical romance is Artfully Yours by Joanna Lowell. Okay, this heroine sounds like so much fun. She was raised by her art forger brother, so she knows how to imitate paintings, but instead of wanting to be an art forger, she actually wants to be a baker and run her own bakery. The hero is an art critic who knows that her paintings are fake, but he just doesn't know that she was the one who painted them. And he also offers her a job at his house. So it's like a boss employee historical romance, but just with a whole art forgery thing. And then I got this book from one of my favorites. This is Loath to Love You by Allie Hazelwood. It's the paperback bind up of the three Three Steminist novellas, which I adore. They are 
so freaking cute. It's also got an exclusive bonus chapter which I have not read yet but it looks like it's from Liam's point of view so the hero from the first novella. So I love having this. I also love the gorgeous matte feel of the book. I don't know why but I just love this mad cover. And then this is a book that I just read. I talked about it in my January wrap up. I did not love it. It is Do I Know You by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca. It's a marriage and trouble romance. I sadly did not really enjoy these characters but it does have an interesting premise. A married couple are celebrating their five-year anniversary but their marriage is basically in shambles and they pretend to not be married. They pretend to be single while on this little resort to spice up their marriage. And then here is this finished copy of X's and O's by Amy Lee. This one I also have read. This one I didn't enjoy quite as much as Amy Lee's debut but it was still really cute. It's like a, a meta second chance romance. The heroine is a bookish influencer and she wants to play out her own second chance romance. So she hits up all of her exes to see if maybe one of them was the one who got away. Spoiler alert, they're not. She ends up falling for her new roommate. And then this book has a beautiful cover. It's The Fraud Squad by Kyla Zhao. This one I don't think is really romance, but it does sound very fun. A working class woman who infiltrates Singapore's high society to fulfill her dreams risks losing everything in the process, including herself. Oh, it's also a debut book. That's awesome. And then here is another debut. It's called Sorry Bro by Talin Vascuni. It's an FF romance between two Armenian women and based on this cover, it is set in San Francisco. Oh my gosh, Berkeley is publishing a lot of debuts in 2023. So these two are also debuts. This one has a really pretty cover. It kind of looks paranormal or maybe fantasy-ish. It's called The Minuscule Mansion of Myra Malone by Audrey Burgess. So the book sounds very interesting. It's about this dollhouse mansion and it might have some sort of magic element to it. I don't really know. And there is a romance. The heroine is a blogger who blogs about this dollhouse mansion and the hero is a guy all the way on the other side of the country who recognizes this dollhouse as his own childhood home. So it does sound pretty unique and interesting, very different. And then this debut is set in Scotland. It's called Ruby Spencer's Whiskey Year by Rochelle Billow. I already love the fact that it's set in Scotland. The heroine is a food writer who moves to this Scottish small town for one year. And of course, she ends up falling for a Scotsman. And then these last two Berkeley books I don't think are debuts, or at least this one for sure is not a debut because I've read Amanda Elliott before. I read her book from last year. Didn't really like it. But this is another foodie romance from her. It's called Best Served Hot. It's an enemies to lovers romance between two restaurant critics who have to partner up for some reviews. And then this final Berkeley book that I have is a bookish romance. It's The Neighbor Favor by Christina Forrest. The heroine is a bookworm who begins this email correspondence with her favorite fantasy author until he ends up ghosting her and never talking to her again. Hero is this fantasy author. She has no idea. And he's also just moved in next door. So he is her new neighbor. Moving on from Berkeley and moving on from all those illustrated covers, I do have this book. It's called Midnight Duet by Jen Comfort. I do love the look of this cover. It's got an organ and also a guitar, an electric guitar. So it's a rock star romance. The heroine is a Broadway actress until she gets into this accident that leaves her face scarred. She inherits this rundown opera house that she's trying to fix and she also does rent it out to some new tenants, one of which is the hero. He's part of this German hair metal band. He's the front man. It sounds super cute. There are some midnight singing lessons here. I believe this one just came out too in January, so it sounds fun. Go check it out. I also got the new edition, the new traditionally published edition of Praise by Sarah Kate, and I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer the original cover with the hot guy on it. This one, the first time I saw it, it looked like a martini glass to me, but nope, apparently it's just the back of a heel, and it's really giving like 
2011, 2012 erotic romance cover, but at least the book itself is good. It's a falling for your ex's dad kind of forbidden romance, and the heroine also becomes the hero's assistant. It's set at this BDSM club that the hero owns. Here is the pretty finished copy of Radiant Sin by Katie Robert. This is the latest book in the Dark Olympus series, and each book in the series is based off a Greek mythology romance. And I'm also obsessed with the fact that these books, these trade paperbacks, have step backs in them. So Radiant Sin is Cassandra and Apollo's romance. I'm not too familiar with Apollo and Cassandra. They're not you know, that common for mythology retellings. But Apollo is one of the more interesting characters in the series from what I've read so far, so I will be getting to his book soon. There's fake dating here. Apollo is a spy master, and he needs the heroine's help with infiltrating this little party, and in exchange, he'll help her escape from Olympus. And then this book is called The Second Year Single by Kara Tanamachi. The hero is a baker, which I already love, but the heroine hates Valentine's Day and wants to be single for it, but then she meets the hero and of course things don't go exactly to plan. This one is The Sweet Spot by Amy Popel. This one is not a romance, it's more women's fiction. It's about these three women who find a baby. It doesn't belong to any of them, but they end up taking care of it. And then we have the new edition of Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. This one she originally published as an indie book, but then Atria picked it up. So now we have this new cover. And also they sent um, a pinwheel. They sent a pinwheel that I actually had to build, but I mean, it's a nice touch. I'll just stick this on my front lawn. I have read this one. It's like a beach read. It is set literally on the beach, but it's definitely not a cute little rom-com. It's Colleen Hoover, so it does get emotionally draining, but I did enjoy it. It's not my favorite Colleen Hoover book, but it did remind me a bit of her older stuff, which I do prefer. And then here is another sort of celebrity romance. It's called The Reunion by Kayla Olson. It's about two former co-stars who were part of this popular teen drama, and the whole cast is back for a reunion special. And then here I have the paperback of Heard It in a Love Song by Tracy Garvis Graves. This one I read a while ago, but I sadly didn't enjoy it that much because I wasn't into the romance at all. It's a single dad romance, but both main characters are very hung up on the their exes. I also got this book that I requested before I read it. I wanted it because it was one of the nominations in the Goodreads Choice Awards. It's Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll request this from the publisher because I do eventually want to read it. Uh, and then I did read it and I did not like it. I unfortunately will not be keeping this one. It is one of the most boring Hollywood romances that I've ever come across. And then I got this book in the mail. This book was originally published on Kindle Vela, like the serial platform on Amazon where it releases a chapter every week or so. This is The Marriage Auction by Audrey Carlin, Season 1, Volume 1. It's about a group of women who auction themselves off for a million dollars per year in a marriage of convenience. And then I got this box full of L. Kennedy books. These are the Bloom editions of the Briar U series. They originally did the off-campus series and now they have done the spin-off series. I do already own these in the indie paperbacks, but might as well make my L. Kennedy section of my shelf bigger. They're all hockey romances like the original series. They're set in college. Book one is The Chase, which I loved. It's one of my favorites. Book two is The Risk, which is an enemies to lovers romance. Book three is The Play. It's friends to lovers, also another favorite. And book four, and book four is The Dare, which has fake dating. I do have a ranking video for Elle Kennedy if you were curious how I ranked all her hockey romances, the off-campus series, and the Briar U series from worst to best. And then moving on to some books that authors, some indie authors sent my way. This beautiful hardcover is Whispers of You by Katherine Cowles. I am obsessed with how it looks. So it's got the discreet cover for the dust jacket, but then when you take it off, it has the original cover printed on the naked hardcover. It's stunning. I really enjoy this one as well. It's a second chance romance, small town, romantic suspense. Catherine Cowles also sent this blue highlighter to go along with it, some sticky tabs, this cute little pouch, and also a tumbler. Like how beautiful does this look? I am 
obsessed with it. I also got this book by a new to me author. It's called Manhunt by Vanessa Vale. It's a small town romance with a billionaire hero, a billionaire boss hero. So I'll just read the blurb because it sounds great. What's worse than spilling coffee all over my billionaire boss? Accidentally emailing him my answers to a sex quiz. I sneak into his office to delete it, but it's too late. He knows my naughtiest fantasies. Instead of firing me, he wants to fulfill every one of them. So this sounds great. It's the start of a new series and I think I do need to try this author for the first time. I also was sent this special edition of The Devil Gets His Due by Elizabeth O'Rourke. I actually had no idea that this series had these illustrated covers. I think I do still prefer the hot guys but this is cute. It's an enemies to lovers small town romance and the main characters somehow get so drunk that they forget that they got married and she's now pregnant. I got another small town romance, this time from Devney Perry, who I love, though I really do need to start reading the series. This is Jasper Vale, book four in the Eden series. It is yet another we accidentally got married in Vegas sort of romance. She wants to keep the marriage a secret so they can get annulled, but he asks her to stay married for a little bit longer, just so she can go with him to a wedding. And then I also got this stack of books that Penny Reed sent my way, because she did a little revamp of her book covers. They're now illustrated covers because that's what's in right now. So these two books are part of her Hypothesis series. This one is Elements of Chemistry and this is Laws of Physics. I read these and love them. They're noodle romances. They're very nerdy and very cute. Elements of Chemistry has the popular guy falling for the quiet girl and they are chemistry lab partners. And Laws of Physics is a brother's best friend romance. And then these two are a part of the Dear Professor series which are all professor student romances. Book one is Kissing Tolstoy and book two is Kissing Galileo. I've also read these and adored them. I really love Penny Reed's noodle college romances. And I also love the fact that these covers, these new illustrated covers, they match her release from last year, which is 10 Trends to Seduce Your Best Friend. So they all have the same vibe as that cover. And then I got these two books in the mail. They are not romances as you may be able to tell. This one is Spare by Prince Harry. This is Prince Harry's autobiography. I believe he narrates his own audiobook so if I do end up reading this one I'm probably gonna go the audiobook route. And then this one is A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross, which is fantasy. And then these are the last few books that I have before I get into all of my special editions. These are the books that I got for myself, also one a friend sent me. My friend Desiree sent me her copy of The Hustler Next Door by Kay Tucker because she wasn't gonna read it and I do love Kay Tucker. This is the standalone sequel to The Player Next Door. It's set in the same small town. The heroine here I believe was the best friend from The Player Next Door. And this one has an enemies to lovers romance. I got myself Her Soul for Revenge by Harley LaRue mostly because I wanted to have the whole series. I didn't love the sequel but I love the cover enough to get it. I already own book one so I was like okay why not let me just get the sequel and then Get the third book whenever it comes out. It's part of the Souls trilogy. It's a monster romance series. The books are very very hot. This one I didn't love mostly because it was just a recap, a retelling of all the things that happened in book one. But again, I do love this cover so I had to get it. I also got yet another Penny Reed book. This is the original cover of Kissing Galileo. I'd been holding off on getting it. I already own the original cover of Kissing Tolstoy but I'd been holding off on getting this sequel until I held off too long and Penny Reed changed her covers before I could get this. But luckily the used section on Amazon did have a copy with this original cover so I got it. And I also got one of my favorites from 2022, which is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. It is such a good Christmas romance. I am obsessed with this hero who is just perfection. He is so good to the heroine. He's rich, he's nice, and he's got a dirty mouth, so what more can I ask for? And then finally I'm getting to the special editions that I got last month. I didn't go as crazy last month. I've been trying to save my wallet, all right? But I am a rep for Bell Book Box and they sent me their latest box which featured Julie Ann. Usually Bell has two authors. There are two hardcovers and each of them is by a different author, but we have a duet this time. It's the Fisherman Duet by Julie Ann. 
fan. Book one is The Naked Fisherman and how gorgeous does this look? You can see the beautiful foiling, the sprayed edges, and also the spine. And then here is book two, which is The Lost Fisherman. I love how these two look together. They are so, so nice and they match perfectly too. I adore this duet. I'm so, so happy that it got a special edition. It's pretty much an age gap romance. The heroine falls for her mother's friend who is also their landlord. And then my order of the Hades and Persephone books from the bookish box finally came and they are stunning. So I already own the first set which has a touch of darkness and a game of fate. So then these two books are the next two books. This is A Touch of Ruin which is book two in the Hades and Persephone series. It's got some pretty foiling on it and I am just obsessed with the cover art. I love the artist so much. And here is A Game of Retribution which is book two in the Hades saga which is basically Hades and Persephone told in Hades's point of view. So they're beautiful together. Here's the spines together and the sprayed edges together. I'm also very obsessed with the sort of step back that these hardcovers have. This one is A Touch of Ruin and then here's the step back for A Game of Retribution. These are what the naked hardcovers look like. It's got some gold foiling of Hades and Persephone and I do love the alternate artwork as well on the other side of the dust jacket. So this one is A Touch of Ruin and here is the dust jacket for A Game of Retribution. So these additions are just stunning. I do enjoy the series. I would not buy a series that I hated, but I'm not gonna lie, I am also mostly buying these for how pretty they look. And then finally, I'm getting to this giant box that's been sitting behind me this entire video. These are the Bridgerton special editions that I got from Juniper Books that I will be giving away on my Instagram for Valentine's Day. So let me just get these. It's a a big box. It's got nine hardcovers in here. So it's the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn, all eight books plus the Happily Ever After book. They are the regular hardcovers that you can buy from the publisher, but they have an exclusive dust jacket on them. And it does have matching spines. It spells out Bridgerton. I don't know if you can tell that clearly how it looks, but oh my god, these books are heavy. I cannot lift them. I'll just show a picture of what the books look like from the Juniper Books Instagram. Here's book one, The Duke and I. Book two, The Viscount Who Loved Me. Book three, An Offer from a Gentleman. Book four, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Book five, and my favorite of the series, is To Sir Philip With Love. Book six is When He Was Wicked. Here's book seven, It's In His Kiss. Book eight is On the Way to the Wedding. And the final book is the Bridgerton's Happily Ever After book. It's a gorgeous set. I now have like three or four entire sets of the Bridgerton series, so it's a lot. Again, I am giving it away on my Instagram on Valentine's Day, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. But that's it for my haul for January. This is mostly everything that I got so far this year. Let me know your thoughts if you've read any of these books that I mentioned. I also do have discount codes like rep codes for a few of these book boxes in my description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!